Hey everybody, it's me, Felicia. Um, so, I am making another video, and these are series um, to start opening up our minds, to start to train, not train our minds, our minds already have been trained or programmed, you know, because what we're living in is actually a matrix, you know, but we have to come to realization um, because we, I know once in our lifetime we go about asking the question of what's my purpose in life, you know, what's my purpose in life, why do I exist? Um, I first want to start off by saying you have to understand that, okay, I'm just going to say the word, human being, you're a human being, meaning that you are a being in human form. Um, I state that because you are, your mind is basically what creates you, what makes you exist. Your mind was there before your body was there. And in order for us to communicate, Okay, I'll just state my quote, um, what I wrote on my blog um, and on my Facebook, which you you can see the link. It it is it'll be down at the end, you know, on the description box to find. I'm um, sorry, my nose is just like really cold. To find um, the description for my for my blog, for my Facebook, and for people that are not aware of my YouTube channel for my YouTube channel, because I'm going to start talking about serious things, things that that are here, the reason why I exist, um, which I you'll understand what I'm talking about in the video. So, what I wrote was, one second, know that you exist because you have a mind. Know that you exist because you have a mind. You don't exist because you're in a body, for the body is just an illusion a tool to entertain the mind. Your body will not be able to function without the mind. If someone controls the mind, then they control your body. So stop allowing this world to rape your mind. And I, that's, my, that's what I wrote. And when you allow this world to rape your mind, you cannot evolve. You cannot, you know, excel to your full potential. You won't even realize your full potential because you're allowing somebody else is in control of your mind. Somebody else is occupying your mind. That's why we have, you know, so many distractions which, you know, is which is the system we grow up in to keep our mind distracted and control from wandering and from excelling so we cannot like it's like we put in we're, we're put in a box, right? Um Somebody wrote on my page after I did the first video about the matrix, and that is completely true. Um, you know, he's he he stated one second. I'm gonna go to his link. One second, you guys. Um, the mind is everything. Corporation, politician, world leaders. This is what he wrote to me because we was having a conversation in my video. So you can go check out my video. It's entitled, Your Mind is a Terrible Thing to Give Away. Wake Up the Minds, Part 1. Um, this will be Part 2. Um, Anyway, so we was having a conversation. You can see the conversation. Basically what he stated to me, the mind is everything and a it is corporation, politicians, world leaders. Know this so the media constructs a perceptual matrix to keep this masses to keep the masses sedated. Not only that, what we eat, what we drink, the air that we breathe is is purposely polluted to keep us under control. The chains of slavery still still hangs around our necks. The only difference is this time it, that is it is transparent. Um, 
you know, you're going to tape to understand what he was saying. And I thought about that, and I understand exactly what he means. I understand exactly what he means. We'll go more in depth with, um, you know, what he stated. But that's just something to let your mind wander and open your mind a little bit to grasp what he was saying. You know, I'll allow, allow y'all to do that. Um, we'll talk about that in another video. However, um, back to why, why am I in human form? Um, we're in human form because the mind, the mind, okay, we exist. Um, the mind already existed. Um, but in order for the mind to express itself, we need to have a tool to create an illusion or to express itself. Um, when I state that, I mean, that's the reason why we come in human form is so that we can communicate with each other's mind. You know, you know what I'm saying? We can influence and communicate with each other. And the whole purpose of us, uh, to, to be in the human form, to do so, is to help each other, because we're out, we all need each other. We all influence and impacted by each other, whether we, um, whether you, you ever been aware of that or not. You know what I'm saying? You come across, uh a you know your teachers impact you your parents impact you um our politicians you know they they regulate um the orders that we have the restrictions that we have the 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 the, the money system is there to to put a hierarchy so we we look for to put a to find our our identity in materialistic or in this, in, you know, in materialistic matters. Therefore, the richer you are, you know, you know, the higher your status quo, the highest your title is, the more money, the more power, the more identity you have, the more education, you get my drift. Um, you know, and we are subconsciously trained as we was little because we, we are taught based on what we see, you know, when we're kids, we visualize and we are taught based on what we hear, we feel, and we see. And we will not be able to do, do these things if we were only in mind, in, in, in the mind existence. But because we, we, that's the reason we're placed in the body to have these impacts on each other, to help each other develop. And that's what the parent is there to help guide the kid to help develop the mind. But however, the parent forgot to teach the child to think for themselves, to know that there are going to be other influences out there. There's going to be other forces trying to control their mind, for, to use to use their mind to that person's advantage rather than your own advantage. And we have to understand that and grasp that concept and use and use that. We have to be living examples of that. Before that's the reason why we exist. We exist because. Whatever we do and how we live our life is impacting somebody else's life. Whether it's motivating them, inspiring them, whether somebody is looking out the window, like Erica Badu looking out the window seat and seeing how other people live their lives, and she's um, interpreting interpreting that based on her own, you know, thoughts and perceptions of what she sees, what she's here, what she hear, what she's been taught. But however, you have to kind of understand the power of the mind is either you control it or somebody else controls it you know and the reason we're here on this earth is you know to to help each other evolve into a higher consciousness the first thing the first step is actually understanding this understanding that the mind is one of the most powerful things our mind is the reason why we exist without the mind we we are the body cannot do anything you know what I'm saying our mind is the controller of the body our body is just the tool of the mind. You know what I'm saying? Our, our mind, you know, in order for us, that's why I said everything is created by thought. Because if nobody thought about electricity, if nobody had that idea, if nobody thought about the internet, about all the, all the words, everything that we have now and day, that all came from a thought. And now it exists. But we're learned to to live our life according to the thoughts that we are taught, which now is a system to restrict your capability of your own mind. Because you're so focused on the you you know, you try to climb up on the hierarchy of the monetary system and the all the distractions we have. Like our perception of beauty 
is 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 uh you know is influenced by the media it is influenced by by the people we grow up around um it's influenced by what we see once again i'll talk about the things that i'm talking about and just like jump on the different topics and try to go as deep as i can you know within the videos and the time frame that i do have but just know that we are put on this earth no matter what your specific you know role is but we are put on this earth to help evolve and put each other on a higher thinking level a higher consciousness to lift each other up you know um, we get distracted at times we get distracted at times and you know when you are in the human body you do have human needs you do have flaws you know what I'm saying we, we 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 are not perfect and that's the beauty of life is is actually to strive for perfection although we know that a perfect person does not exist doesn't mean you should not go strive for it because it doesn't exist for the thought it all starts with the thought so if you believe it exists then you keep striving to to keep evolving keep to keep prospering in life to keep looking at things that you what happen in your life as a instead of looking at things as um you know from the I want to say from the basic level or your 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 first chakra um the black and white view the version of everything you know look at things as a learning experience well why did this happen to me you know you you want to ask those questions because I'm pretty sure we ask those questions but we really don't sit here and try to understand well what was my thinking process at that time of that situation t to allow that situation to occur in my life to allow me to do that to somebody else what was my thinking process at that time think about that when you go through something what was I thinking what was I thinking in order for this to happen because everything has consequences that's what karma is about you know what I'm saying? The karma is there to teach you about your own state of mind. To teach you about your own state of mind. That's what karma is about. Um, and it will continue to happen until you actually grasp what is there for you to learn. Because everything you go through, there's a learning experience. Whether it's a bad thing or a good thing. Either way, it should be a learning experience. And everything can be changed into a positive just because you learn something. If you learn something, then that negative experience just helped you out. So it helped you, you know, one step higher on a mental level, on a higher consciousness. So you're aware of your capabilities and what you can achieve. You know what I'm saying? Something tried to knock you down. You know, you may have failed, but you dust yourself off. You got back up again. And you start going at whatever you, you're going at again. Regardless. Regardless of your environment, of your circumstances. And we are here to... To be a living example to one another of that. For the for the illusion, just like the media creates the illusion of the glam and the flashing lights. And everybody wants to have certain type of, you know, name brand products and nice car and the nice bad chick, bad chick on their arms. All those perceptions of beauty are influencing how, well, how we wear our hair, our makeup. You know what I'm saying? People go change, get surgery to change their body to have a certain type of image because there's only limited of things that are being displayed on TV. Why? Because it's filtered. Why? Because it's being controlled. And the reason why it's being controlled and monitored or what they put out is to influence your mind to go out and buy this, to go out and do this, to keep you on a certain. You know, if you're unaware of this, you, you know, a lot of people are unaware and people I don't know a lot of people are aware and people that are aware probably won't admit but we all been influenced influenced with influenced by others one way or another the awareness needs to happen in our heads in order for us to start taking control taking back control of this because once you're aware you you know you start to understand things you won't be so vulnerable you know what I'm saying to say oh my god I wish I looked like her. Oh my God. Um, I don't know. Just being so in, easily influenced by by others. 
you know. If it's a positive influence, um, hey, your your positive influence could be also misinterpreted. Your your influence on love could also be misinterpreted by the media. What is love? Marriage is misinterpreted by the media. People the the people that that are Christians they change their it's like it's a lot I can go deep deep into this, but. The whole point of this video is, is for the awareness of, of knowing that the mind is very powerful and you need to take awareness, aware and you need to start mastering your mind and it first starts with awareness, knowing the capabilities of your mind and its influence, knowing that you exist because of your mind and not the body. So knowing that everything around you is an illusion based on the mind and that's called reality. Which, which the reality can influence the mind if you don't train your mind, if you don't master your mind things that happen in your life can influence the mind and control the mind rather than you your mind controlling you know what I'm saying, your life or you, you, it's like you putting out I don't know, it's like you can only change yourself it's like <sighs> you can only change yourself but however, once you change yourself or, you know, that's when you can help, inspire, and touch other people. And it all starts with the mind, changing your mindset about things you're going through in life, about your looking in the mirror of your own perception of what you think about yourself, about what you think about life. Why do you want to do certain things in life? It's because your parents said you have to do this, because everybody told you that's what you should do. Somebody told you, you know... They put you in a box and they say, well, that's what, that's what you, you know, for example, I'm 4'11 and I model and I've been placed in the box and, you know, I have a very curvy body and I've been placed in the box to, to, to be an eye candy video vixen model. I've been categorized, you know, as a certain you know, as a certain being or a certain person because of the way I look. People misinterpret me because of the way I look. For this is just an illusion. It's like I, I wasn't put here, you know, I, I am put here to influence you guys. However, I'm put here to develop and evolve and to, you know what I'm saying, to, to help to, like everything that happens in my life, it is for me to move up in my higher consciousness, in my mind. For me to take owner ownership of my own mind, to understand that, to understand how my own mind works, to know that I exist because of here, not because of this. This does not define me, although others define me like this because they're not on the same level of thinking. This does not define me. However, this is a reflection of this. <coughs> um, I am not beautiful because the world told me I am beautiful for the reason I am beautiful is because I am beautiful here you can be you can be a beautiful illusion but if you don't have a beautiful mind the mind is where it all starts the mind is the true existence for everything else is the illusion so when I sit here and say I am beautiful I am beautiful because I know my mind I know myself, you know what I'm saying, I'm still learning about it, but I know enough to know that I am a beautiful person, I'm a beautiful being, I am a beautiful spirit, and the world can interpret the exterior. Be aware of your mind, and again, my quote, know that you exist because you have a mind, you don't exist because you're in a body. For the body is just an illusion, a tool to entertain the mind. Your body will not be able to function without the mind. If someone controls your mind, they control your body. Stop allowing this world to rape your mind. There will be another video. Leave your comments and your thoughts below. And talk to you guys later.